Good evening. One of Hawaii's heroes, the oldest Medal of Honor recipient from World War II, has passed away. Today, family members remembered Barney Hajiro. KITV 4's Degal Geyer is here with more on a humble man who earned the nation's highest award for valor. Pamela Barney Hajiro passed away Friday. He was 94, and his death, rightly so, made national news. Today, we spoke with his son. Barney Hajiro was a member of the famed 442nd, Japanese Americans who fought bravely in World War II. His heroic acts spanned three days in October 1944 in France. He killed snipers, ambushed enemy patrols, and attacked machine gun nests at a place called Suicide Hill. He was seriously wounded. This was presented uh, the day after uh, he received the Medal of Honor. His son Glenn says when he was young, he didn't realize his father was a hero. I can't even remember him talking about the war. Then Glenn discovered a case full of his father's war memorabilia. I opened it up and I saw news clippings and pictures. This is the Medal of Honor that was presented to my dad. President Bill Clinton awarded Hijiro the Medal of Honor. Glenn says his father was so nervous at the ceremony, he didn't hear what the president said to him. And I asked him, oh, what did President Clinton say to you? And he said, I can't remember. I was too nervous. So, okay. But I was proud. Members of the 442nd Infantry Regiment were Japanese Americans who proved their loyalty with blood. I grew up and there wasn't a whole lot in the history books. Even now, if I was to open a book, and I don't see a lot being written about them. If it wasn't for them, uh, we wouldn't have the opportunities that we have now. They did so much. Uh, there were a lot of prejudice I gather at the time. I remember my dad, you know, even after the war, he said people still, you know, called him Jap. Glenn Hijiro says his father never went back to France. He never wanted to go back. And I asked him what his father thought of the movie Saving Private Ryan. He said his father would not watch that film. It seems he wanted to forget that part of the past. Pamela. Thank you, Dick.